Jesus explains the mysterious days of Daniel 12, 11 and 12. Narrated by Daniel. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven, a time for the great tribulation, a time for the wrath of God and the marriage supper of the Lamb, and a time for the battle of Armageddon. The words of the book of my prophet Daniel have been sealed up until the time of the end, a time when knowledge of my word shall increase, a time for the book of Daniel to be understood, a time when my sons and my daughters should prophesy. I have set before you an open book in these last days, that you might have understanding and have it more abundantly. I have stretched out the timeline of the end and included all the information for those who have understanding. I have numbered the days and given you the key of knowledge to make known that which has been sealed until the time of the end. Seek wisdom and understanding through my word. I have sent unto you the spirit of truth to teach you of things to come and to bring to remembrance all that I have said unto you from the beginning. Beloved, it is the last days, and you know that Antichrist shall come. Open now the books, and I shall make known the mystery of the matter concerning the days and the closing words of the book of Daniel. I have told you that the great tribulation shall begin when you shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by the prophet Daniel. And I have in various ways made known the number of those days, that they shall be 42 months, or 1,260 days, or a time, times, and half a time. I have told you that immediately after those days of tribulation, I shall appear in the clouds on the last day to resurrect all that believe in me. I will send my angels to gather them unto me, from all directions on earth, to take them from earth's end of heaven to the far end of heaven for the marriage supper of the Lamb. When that great multitude that no man could number appear in heaven, then the angels shall prepare to go forth to pour out the vials of wrath upon earth. Therefore, from the time the daily sacrifice is taken away and the abomination that maketh desolate set up, there shall be one thousand 290 days, 30 days extra. It is during those 30 days that my bride shall be present in heaven for the marriage supper of the Lamb, while the vials of wrath are poured out upon earth. During those days, the sixth vial shall dry the river Euphrates to prepare the Antichrist to gather the kings of the east and the world to Armageddon. And except those days be shortened by my return with the armies of heaven to do battle and defeat the Antichrist and his forces, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Therefore, know and understand that the number of days for the battle of Armageddon shall be forty-five days. Blessed is he that cometh to the 1,335 days from the time the daily sacrifice is taken away and the abomination that maketh desolate set up. And a remnant of Israel shall be saved, as it is written. Let me illustrate. Daniel 12, 11 and 12 says, And from the time the daily sacrifice shall be taken away, and the abomination that maketh desolate set up, there shall be 1,290 days. Blessed is he that waiteth and cometh to the 1,335 days. Those 1,335 days are also measured from the midst of the week. From the time the daily sacrifice is taken away, there shall be 1,290 days. Blessed is he that comes to the 1,335 days. Thirty days is for the marriage supper of the Lamb, while the vials of wrath are poured out upon earth. 
45 days is for the Battle of Armageddon that follows the marriage supper of the Lamb. Know therefore and understand that the extra 30 days is for the marriage supper to take place in heaven while the vials of God's wrath are poured out upon earth, upon those who have worshipped the image of the beast and received his mark. The sixth vial shall prepare the way for the battle of Armageddon. The sixth vial drives the river Euphrates to prepare the way for the Antichrist to gather the kings of the east and the whole world, to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty. The seventh vial is reserved for a future time and purpose. I will explain in due season. Then immediately after the marriage supper, I will mount up upon a white horse, and the armies of heaven shall mount up upon white horses to return to earth for the 45-day battle of Armageddon and cut short those days of great trouble, so that the blessed remnant of Israel might be saved, as it is written. <laughs> 